What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we helped the Millers out with their new farm property. And today we're going to be helping out our next client way over here, way off to the right. This one is titled Paradigm Shift. It says Mike was a startup owner, a client champion, a full stack hero, and most likely the next IT superstar, but somewhere along the way, he discovered that he's not living the life he truly wanted. After selling his shares in the startup, he returned home and bought a flock of sheep. Is that what they're called? A flock of sheep? That sounds weird. Uh, two years have passed, and Mike is ready to take the next step. I'm just gonna so far, keep drinking my coffee business, through this. But the time is coming for about a paradigm it. shift. We will expand, literally and mm. metaphorically. Your mission goal is to extend and adapt. Yo, I really Prepare like this two property. Comfy rooms for the shepherds who will join us. Already. Don't skimp on anything. I want them to feel here at home. We're a family business after all. Speaking of which, my mom offered to make us dinner every day. Oh, so we'll need some upgrades. You better take that deal, upstairs. Mike. You better take that deal. Together, we're changing my farm for the better. Awesome. The paradigm shift. Yeah, dude, I, I really, really like the the garage down here. Or I should say garage is. No, I should just say garage, actually. It's not like there are multiple garages. There's just multiple garage doors. Oh, and those are a new style door, dude. Did you see how those open? That's really sick. That is really, really sick. All right, let's do a little, little snooping, shall we? Find the light switch. Typical us making our way inside the house through the garage. Oh, he's actually got a tractor. See, this guy, this guy is a certified farmer. Wait a minute. Okay. I was kind of hoping we were going to be able to ride around on the tractor, but that is, I guess. Huh? We can get in the... Why, though? Why, though? That is just a way for us to leave the property. And so is this. Yo, what? He's got his flock of sheep out here. Is that really what they're called? I don't know why, but that just sounds that just sounds so weird to me. Oh, this one this one on the mini map is yellow. That must mean that they that they need something. Can we fill these? No, not yet. Okay, well we will be back to help you out eventually. I'm sure there's probably some stuff that we're gonna need to do at this property for you guys. And there's more. And there's more sheep. We got some solar panels over there. Some more solar... Oh, and look how much closer we are to the hot air balloons now. We've seen those uh, on the at the other properties, but like way off in the distance. So that's kind of cool, being able to see them a little bit more close up. That's either a waterfall or a geyser way out there. I don't think we've seen that property yet. Okay, let's make our way back to the front of this place. And we can start making our way inside. Could have also just come up from the garage. I would assume there's a, another staircase. Wait, is there not? Maybe there isn't. No. Okay, I could have swore I saw a staircase or like another doorway or something down there. So, let's see what we've got going on in here. Got a bedroom. Nice looking bedroom there. And we can't make the bed, but we can sleep in it. In many, many episodes now, I've been meaning to try the sleep function. Sleep till next day. Let's try it. Just to just to see what it does. Maybe that would clear up the, the rain. Or put us at a different time of day, but it doesn't look like it's doesn't look like it's done either of those things. But yeah, another little bedroom back in here looking good. Oh, I gotta remember to turn on all the lights too, so we can really, really rack up the electricity bill for this homeowner. Aren't we so nice? We are just we are just the nicest guy. This room. Dude, this room is crazy. Okay, the lights are already on in here for some reason. We didn't do that. Got a big old door right there. I love this. I love how high the ceilings are. I love the chandeliers way up there. They're so high up that the lights aren't even the lights aren't even turning on for them. Because technically, that's like another room. You know what I mean? Just because we use the, the eco lighting system. 
insane. Insane. All right, we'll get the fireplace turned on, get that switch to the proper channel. And we will, uh... Wait, is there no... There is an upstairs. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on up here. Dang, dude. This is a pad. This is a pimp pad right here. So far, this is this is probably the property that I'm most likely going to purchase. Like once we actually finish all these all these farm DLC jobs and things. Oh, and this has like that's really unique. I can't say I've ever seen that before. Got like cubbies and stuff built into the staircase. That is really really cool. Okay, uh, let's start on this property though. Yes, we actually do have to do things here. We can't just walk around and, and look at stuff the whole time. But let's start... I was going to start in the garage. We don't actually have to do anything in there. We'll start outside on this one. We have a foundation that needs to be laid in this area. Oh, we are really expanding. Okay. Yeah, we are, we are really, really expanding. So, I keep pressing the wrong freaking buttons, dude. We need this tool, and why can we not? We can't even place this where they would like it to be placed. Not unless we smash out all those walls, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I guess let's try from up here, and maybe we can extend, like right up. There we go. Right up against this building. So previously, I was thinking that this was not a possibility. You just, you wouldn't be able to do this, build like an addition onto a building just because of the roof line. You know, it would, it would definitely make the roof look weird. But I think that's good. So we'll get that built up. Oh, I wonder if it's because the roof is so much higher on this one? Either way, this portion is not going to have a roof on it. I, I don't think. So it may end up looking a little weird. Next, we just have to install some dark panels. Probably the same paneling that's on the building already. But this guy needs to be sold. Or these guys need to be sold. And then we need to buy a new door. Just a frame here. Coarse dark oak, of course. And that is going to let us through into this new addition. That's dope, dude. That is so dope. So I think I owe you guys an apology, because a lot of you had said that this was a possibility, but for whatever reason, I was kind of under the impression that we wouldn't ever be able to do proper additions like this. Maybe it's not proper, I guess, because it still doesn't have a roof, but it can be done. It can definitely be done. Okay, I'm going to actually go back outside, and let's do the paneling next. Then we can head back in and uh, start building a couple more walls, it looks like. That's what we were going to have to do next. Yeah, it's the exact same wall panel. So I'll just get a couple of these dropped around the perimeter here. We'll get it paneled. We'll head back inside. A few moments later. Well, we've still got 69,000 bucks in the budget. So I'm assuming there's going to be quite a bit more work to be done inside. Now we just have to build 62 regular size walls and 14 lintels. We've got just a bunch of smaller rooms being being added into here. Let's see if we can't figure out where we need to start placing these. It's it's really, really easy to use the mini-map for this type of stuff. Now that we've got the doorways framed out, we should be able to come through here and just start laying even more walls. We've got those separated, looking good. Need one more right there. And then just lentils at the top. I gotta make sure I don't like accidentally box myself in somehow. There we go. Switch to lentils. And we are almost finished. That one there. We've got a little bit wider doorway here. So this was a three wide, this is a four wide. Fill this in really quick. B and another three wide to finish it out all right that's the interior walls done now we're gonna need a big window here or maybe this is a door no that's that's just a window okay i'm gonna try to get these set up the same way or like 
so that they would look the same. You know what I'm saying. I want them to look like these. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get it installed. I'm pretty sure it's just black wood. Honestly, I think it's, I think it's that simple. So you can see it's very, very dark, but it still has that, that wood grain texture to it. it kind of looks like, kind of looks like that's a match. I think that's either close enough or it's an exact match. So we'll just go with that. And then in all of these rooms, okay, we need one more window in here. But otherwise, we just have to start laying the wall tiles and laying the floor tiles. Next up, we're going to be moving on to the floor and wall coverings. So in here, looks like we're just going to kind of be matching what they what they already have. And just bringing that into this area. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the door gaps. Just because I don't I don't necessarily know what, uh, what doors we're going to be using just yet. And then in here, I'm guessing this is going to be... A bathroom. We're going to be adding some tile in there. Looking good, looking good. I actually kind of like that. It's not a it's not a bad look. Not my first choice, for sure. But it certainly doesn't look bad. Same, uh, same floor panel in here as the other room. These basically are like the same room. They're just sort of mere images of each other, almost. I love the new tiling and paneling tool, you guys. I've probably said this a hundred times over already, but it is seriously freaking fantastic, okay? I cannot stress that enough. I, before, like before the tool got upgraded, I probably would have been here all freaking day. But we're finally ready to start adding in furniture down here. I just remembered though, we also have a little bit of furniture that needs to be added upstairs as well. So let's get started down here. Once we're finished with that, we can make our way up there. And, uh, and get going on that as well, dude. I'm excited to see this place all, all furnished up. I think you guys probably are as well. a while but honestly I've only been recording this for about an hour so it was a lot of just placing objects which is a little time consuming I'll be honest especially when you're working with two rooms that are basically just mirror images of each other though the layout is is just different enough with the bathroom placements where you'll notice I wasn't able to configure them exactly the same we just have you know some subtle differences here different locations for uh, the end tables, different locations for the desks, for this wardrobe dude. That was a real kicker. They just kind of threw that in at the tail end. Like, I, I was kind of thinking I'm done with the rooms, and then all of a sudden I have to throw in this massive wardrobe. Like, I, I ended up moving a bunch of stuff around a second and even a third time in the other room, just so we could actually have enough space for it. The bathrooms, again, same, same. This is exactly the same as it looks in, uh, in the other room. So... They didn't say, or did they say? Maybe they did, and I've and I've just forgotten who's actually gonna live in these rooms. 
but I know they're they're expanding the the lambing the sheep empire so obviously they're gonna need some more rooms for people to stay but that is that area finished up the only other thing that we did was added a little bit more decoration a little bit more furniture up here in the kitchen also this isn't like huge but it's kind of big we don't have to use modded mixers anymore I used to just have like a, a bunch of things downloaded from the steam workshop over here a mixer included that's that's no longer a thing they actually have one built in in the game now so that's looking awesome we have a tv now a little uh, entertainment center here stereo radio boom box whatever you want to call that and a coffee table i believe that is all we added up here so I think we're finally ready to finish out this job, but just before we do, I want to kind of go through the house and maybe try to get a few more screen grabs, because the, the before and after of this place isn't going to look all that great, especially with the extension or the addition that we made not having a roof. Looks a little weird. Looks a little weird. Alrighty, let's take a look at these before and afters. We're going to get paid 43, almost $44,000 for completing this job for them, dude. I'm excited to see the before and afters though, because this is like the one property that we've done where you might actually be able to see the difference between all the lights being off and then after we come through and turn all the lights back on. And I stand corrected. That was like one of the worst before and afters I think that we've seen. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.